All right, folks. What we have here is a 2016 Ram 2500 Promaster. Looks like a van. All right, we're gonna do the front brakes on this uh, bad boy. Suckers are pretty heavy. All right, just gonna show you this side here. Then I'm gonna show you the other side. All right, there's a couple of uh, retaining screws over here. Looks like the guide pinch too when you put the wheels back on. Otherwise, it's a lot of hex screws in the back. Let's bring you around to the other side. So on this side here, if you notice, the brakes are pretty bad. They're worn out to almost nothing. This thing's already disintegrated. But anyway, all right. To remove this uh, process, you need a six millimeter hex. Okay, six millimeter hex takes the two bolts over here out of the caliper. Once you take it out of the caliper, you take the caliper and put it out of the way. If your wire didn't break yet, check this out. There's a little wire in here. Okay, right here. I'm going to show you that. This one here. Goes through. I guess it's a pad sensor. Like the Mercedes have and the uh, BMWs have. Because I think this van was made by Mercedes at that time. Alright, this one is broken. That's why it's just hanging there. But I'm just going to show you. Alright, so 6mm. Take the two bolts off the caliper. Caliper gets put out of the way now over here you got these guide bolts all the bolts that hold the rotor onto the to the hub these are 12 millimeters it's a hex regular socket takes that right off now in the back these little bad boys right here that's going to be in millimeters and that's a 14 all right, so 14, you can get it at uh, AutoZone. You can buy this separately for $14.99 or buy a set of three for $15.99. Need I say more? All right. Once that comes out, the bracket comes out. Wire brush the bracket, put your new hardware in. Now the brake pads go on. Brake pads go on. This is the wire or the harness that's going to go through. So what you can do is you're going to take that caliber. When you set it back on, you're going to guide this through the hole. Once it comes out through the hole, there's a little clip that holds it here. A little clip here that you unbuckle. This will separate. This comes off of that clip. And that's the way you're going to do that. All right. I only have one hand there, so I'm going to do this for you. Then I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right. Like I said, you're going to fish this through this hole. It's going to hold on to that bracket there. It's going to clip onto this piece right here that supports it. And then you're going to snap it in over there. All right, that's what it's gonna look like. All right, so I've got the caliper on right now. It's only sitting in there, nothing's tightened up yet. All right, so this wire, the way it's wired here, it's gonna go through here, like that. Okay, it's gonna sit up, slide into this little clip here. Okay, so it's gonna come up, slide on that clip here. Get that out of the way there for you. And this one here is going to disconnect from here. And it's going to clip on here. Pull up this way. Ooh. Okay. There you go. That's on there. I'm just going to push this a little closer with my other hand. Hold the bracket and just squeeze it in. And uh, that's it. Up and out of the way. All right. That's the way that looks like. All right. So that's what it's going to look like when you're all done. All right. It's got a little... Uh, Nice protective boot there, which is cool. All right, that's gonna be pitched over here. That's gonna be secured there. That's clipped there. Up out of the way. Tighten up your uh, six millimeters, put the boots on. I like the original boots, and I like the original bolts. Okay, where's my little thing here? Here it is. Me, personally, I like original stuff if it's in good shape. This is nice, soft, it's still pliable. I leave it alone, All right? Those are the grade 8 bolts or whatever it's on there it looks a lot better than the aftermarket ones I'm sorry guys but this is the dural ass gold pads that we used okay this is the pad with the wire these are the new replacement boots that they have and these are the bolts all right I don't like the the bolts only because sometimes they don't look like good quality you know what I mean I like the black 
phosphated ones. They look like either grade five or grade eight. These, I don't know what grade these are, but listen, if they're in good shape and you didn't strip the uh, hex nut in there, put it back. You'll be fine. All right, there you go. I'm going to show you the rotors that I used. Here's the rotors. Suckers are heavy, that's for sure. All right. So it looks like right at the death, man. Look at that. Northeast stuff. And I'm going to show you with the snow over here. That's the Duralast brake rotor that we used. All right, that's it. Now we're just off to the other side. All right. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget. Check to make sure these things are all nice and looped. And your cal caliper should slide just like that with ease. Okay, if they're binding, make sure that you take those pins out, lubricate them, and put them back on. All right, sliding caliper. That's why it's called sliding calipers. Ciao.